welcome guys today we are gonna install this dual stage boost controller and which uh, can uh, shift between the low and the high boost just with the toggle switch and it's very convenient and before I had this in my CRZ in this location and uh, also in my Honda Fit it was on this location but the problem with this location is that this was far away from turbo and other problem I will discuss that there was uh, when car was on a boost there was a very hissing sound inside the car okay so that's why I thought to shift it in the <laughs> engine bay okay, right now I am in the middle of shifting my dual stage boost controller to the uh, engine bay because uh, this was this uh, device is not rust proof so I installed it on the inside and these are the settings for the low boost high boost the clicking sound but the problem is if I give it uh, the vacuum source this one which was this one vacuum source through the intake manifold it acts like an air leak because air is being sucked from here okay if I give it uh, vacuum from the directly from the turbo then what it does is it creates a very uh, irritating loud sound okay the air leaking sound so it was annoying inside the cabin so I have I have decided to shift it to here okay here and once it is here I will cover it up so that way it will be waterproof and there will be no annoying uh, sound hissing sound or and no uh, intake air leaks etc and secondly these thing controller they should be as much close to the your waste gate so that will be most responsive and if you are wondering how i fitted it this is the plastic piece which goes here and i have removed that plastic piece now and look at that i made three small holes here this bracket comes along with it and I pass the three nuts through here and pass that here and tighten the bolts from there okay so to mount it first I install the bracket then I turn the bracket slightly this one so that I can uh, uh, tighten these four screws because if this had to be in this direction then underneath screw tightening should be very difficult final position it has been fitted now I will join a switch power source toward it and then we will apply the vacuum source toward it okay the controller is fitted and uh, here is the vacuum setting this is the boost from the turbo going into that T okay that T the inside car is to my boost gauge and the other one is coming into this okay this uh, this comes with this boost controller so what is it it contains a spring and a ball inside okay for the quick spool but what this call is and uh, that and due to the quick spool the boost will spike slightly for example if this is set to 7 psi the boost will spike to 9 psi and then stabilize at 7 psi so sometime the people which are using the factory uh, ecu's the ecu will go into the boost cut so that's why uh, you can uh, uh, remove that spring and uh, this ball and uh, that over boost won't happen and this phenomenon is clearly seen by the data logs uh, first the boot uh, boost jumps to 9 psi and then stabilizes to 7.6 psi or something so that spike can be seen here so what it does is when the boost is coming through here instead of this is going to the internal waste gate so instead of going into internal waste gate it leaks from here okay the more it leaks boost is not going to this and this will not open so the most boot boost will build and if you don't want to uh, build more boost what you do is you set it to lowest setting or just close it okay clockwise you build boost counter clockwise you now now it is both are set to zero so all the they all the boost is going to this so whatever the waste uh, whatever the spring is in in this that setting is toward this this is a 7 psi spring 
and after the lag of the intercooler uh, this will be the boost actual boost the engine will be seeing will be nearly 5.5 psi so 5 to 6 psi this will be seeing this will be fully opening base kit at 7 psi so you see the vacuum source matters a lot for example if you will give this the vacuum source directly from the turbo then the main vacuum gauge will be seeing uh, for example 9 psi but the intake manifold due to the all the piping and the intercooler lag will be seeing 7 psi but if you give this vacuum source from the intake manifold then the whole system will be operating according to the intake manifold uh, boost and vacuum so uh, all your gauge and your computer will be seeing the same boost so this matters a lot and turning it cl uh, clockwise turns up the boost and counterclockwise turns boost down so uh, but usually the rule of thumb is two clicks is uh, half a pound boost or one psi so we'll be experimenting and i will document how much each click ups the boost when i want to shift into the high boost here is the button okay i will just push it up the car will shift into the high boost here is my boost gate along with the wide band and these are the other gauges so this is my another very important thing is that this is not waterproof or rust proof so uh, some people install it in the engine bay and then cover it with some uh, plastic covering like these okay but that way this needs air to ble bleed okay the boost bleed the boost so if you air tight it then this will not work okay so you need to put it somewhere where it is away from the water and cover it with somewhere but don't air tight it okay okay here we go okay too much traffic cannot take the third gear pole because too much motorcycle are here okay so that was the second gear and maximum the car was going in 8 psi so i think i need to adjust my boost control more before the car was uh, hitting 5.5 uh, psi so after four clicks and uh, the boost is up so usually two clicks per psi that's what i have found and uh, it uh, another thing is that for example if you turn the low boost uh, eight clicks then you start the high boost from eight plus okay you give high boost 12 clicks 13 clicks if not then the high boost won't be giving more boost than the low click okay so the boost control has a solid add it either operates through the low boost or the higher boost so the high boost clicks should be more than the low boost settings okay that's why when you toggle up the switch then the boost will be more otherwise it would won't and uh, yesterday i went for the tuning and each time i had to lift this whole shield okay to approach for the wastegate okay this whole shield. so what i did today with the cutter blade i just made a small neck here and small neck on the high boost so uh, you can see now so now i can easily change both by then and then cover it up okay so that will be protected since they are near turbo so uh, if you are adjusting them when the turbo is hot and kindly wear some gloves okay don't burn your hands like i did okay but don't worry this is not the uh, usually we adjust the boost this is just one time setting and then that just forget it so it's not like uh, uh, you will adjust a boost daily you will set low and high boost and just you can control the boost from the toggle switch inside the cabin but I, since i was tuning so i was uh, experimenting with it so i had to adjust it a lot and see which settings works which way keep a very important factor in mind uh, when adjusting the boost in which gear you are taking your readings okay because in first and second gear the turbo may not fully spool and you think that the spinning is doing 6 psi but actually this spring and waste gear can achieve uh, up to 12 psi in third or fourth gear so once you adjust it in second gear and you 
will say okay everything is good but on highway when you are driving it fourth and you race someone the car may over boost and destroy your engine okay the way i have uh, adjusted it is because i have shortened this rod and so this is very tight now this was 6 psi spring but now it is nearly 9 psi to or 10 psi so i don't need the low boost setting okay instead i have just uh, set it for the minimal this is not doing anything instead i have uh, tightened the high boost setting okay to uh, my desired level uh, which is 15 to uh, 16 psi one bar okay so now i'll be uh, ex uh, experimenting with that but lower boost this is all the controlled by this okay hope you like the video subscribe and share